we are getting a sneak peek at everything the CNE will have in store when it returns from its pandemic hiatus. For more on this, we go live to the X. CP24's Beatrice Faisman is hanging out there today uh, with a preview of what to expect. And it's all really about the food and the rides, right, Bea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It is for sure. Listen, I regret one thing today. It's that I didn't bring my eating pants. Did not think about this ahead of time because there's so much to sample and savor here at the X. I've got Max Pittman here. Tell me about these creations. So this is our pineapple sundae. Uh, it's new this year as well as our dill pickle split. So that is very new. We just finished it this morning. It's brand new. Uh, it tastes just like pickles. So if you like pickles, you'll like this. And then over here, we have our bacon ice cream sandwich. Here's a bigger sample. Uh, <laughs> and so basically what this is, it's just a waffle uh, ice cream sandwich, but then it's coated with maple syrup as well as bacon. So it's like your Canadian breakfast, but as a dessert. Max, you were telling me you've been working at the X since you could walk, since you could talk. You grew up around here. Which of these is your favorite? If you're really selling it to anyone at home, what should they try? I like all of them. I like this because it's classic, but it's still like delicious and like new. Uh, I really like the pineapple uh, sundae. It's just, it has a lot of health benefits. It's vegan, it's dairy free, it's low fat, it's, it's delicious. Um, and then dill pickle, I would try it just to try it, you know? Like it's some, like you can say you had dill pickle ice cream. It's like, it's a fun thing to say that you had. I mean, the fact that you said low fat is not something you generally hear at the X as well. Why don't try both, savory and sweet? Exactly. Max, thank you so much. Let's go over here now. We've got another interesting creation. I've got John Yan here with me. This is this is Edith, and this is rainbow slime candy. John, explain this to me. How did this come to be? So this is a slime candy, and then uh, we took the idea from the kids' toy slime, and so the color and uh, then uh, yeah, also looks very messy and also edible. Show us a demo as to how this all works. So we've got it here. You grab a popsicle stick, and you told me this was inspired by watching your own kids eat slime. So, so you're trying to eat slime. It looks delicious, but they couldn't. Then I uh, came up with ideas, and uh, you know what? I'm going to make some things that you can eat, and looks like a slime as well. What does it taste like? Happiness. <laughs> Sugar candy. Sugar candy. candy. And do different colors have different flavors, or is it all kind of taste the same? Taste the same. Taste the same, but just different color. I'm sure a lot of uh, I'm sure a lot of parents watching at home are going to want to know where they can find you. Where Where do they find you here at the X? And how much does one of these candies cost? So it's going to be a five dollars, and then we are at the food building, C N E, at the Edev booth right there. Yeah. And you've also got some slime soda over there. Yes, it is. Can you show me that one? So what is this all about here? So it's a, it's a soda cocktail. Soda cock? You had me at the cocktail already, John. With our liquor. <laughs> <laughs> and you see it looks like a lava lamp. Oh. Yeah, so you mix it. We have the, the lighting at the bottom. So you mix it. Yep. So you can see the, the shininess. Amazing. Can I try it? Let's, let's give this a whirl. It's pretty hot out here, Chanel and Chen as well. So not a bad way to cool off. Cheers to the CNE. &E. It is back, baby. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Beatrice. Best assignment of the day. All the fun. <laughs> Thank you. Beatrice, thanks so much.